Greetings YouTube, happy Saturday and welcome to another offer review grade by your boy Prof Hoff. You know this week has been an all time terrible week for Marvel Contest of Champions starting with really Mother's Day in the past week because we've seen offers that charge 2 to 3 even 400% the price of previous years uh, offers with less value. I don't wake up every morning and think, gosh, I just love ripping Kabam. How can I do that today? I really don't. I love seeing offers that actually make Kabam money and also help players advance in the contest. I love both. But my job, and it's been my promise since the first offer review I made on my channel almost three years ago, is to look at the prices of today's offer and compare them with the prices of offers not just from a week ago or a month ago, but for two years ago, three years ago, and talk about the value for you, the consumer. It's to stay objective, but it's also to keep it 100, or as one of my subscribers once said, Prof, keep it 1,000, whatever the heck that means. And Kabam's offers this week have basically been sponsored by a vacuum cleaner because most of them just flat out suck. And on top of that, it seems like they just don't understand where the game is, where the need of the game is, and I think to the biggest extent, how much people are hurting right now in terms of their disposable income. If you're out of a job or you're at a place that's at 25% max capacity, you might have an income, but it's half or a fourth what you had a couple months ago. So I've heard from several people who said, Prof, I used to spend at least a couple hundred bucks a month on this game. Now I'm just trying to justify the Black ISO store, the $10 every month asking price. Of course, that's American, so if you live in a different country and that's not even counting taxes, I get that it's more. This is just the baseline price for American dollars. So with that being said, let's just say you came to me this morning before noon Central Standard Time and you said, Prof, there's going to be a five-star 2019 champion cash. And it's going to include a five-star 2019 Champions Crystal and 40 generic five-star signature stones. How many units do you think that should cost? And I'll think about what we've seen in the past in terms of the quote-unquote five-star featured crystal of a certain year, like 2018 or 2017. I'll think about uh, what the cost was. Usually it's in the unit store. And I would say, you know what? We have seen that for about 50 bucks, but also we know that signature stones, even the five-star signature stones, are still valued by Kabam at least a dollar a piece. So when you combine the two, the $50 of signature stones, the $50 crystal, I would expect that to be probably a million gold and 3,000 units. 3,000 units. I'm not saying that would be an A deal. I think that would actually be a C to C plus deal. It would be a retail price. But 3,000 units for that is a fair asking price for what you get. So doing that math, doing those calculations, talking about the past offers in comparison to May 16th, 2020, I look down and I see the price tag is 5,000 units, which has been in the past the same price that Kabam guarantees you to get, oh, that's right, five-star OG Vision. And really... That was the first time we got them, or the second time. And then by the third time, for 6,000 units, you could get not only him once, but him twice, guaranteed awakening, plus some signature stones. And that's rare because you are purchasing a targeted champion that's not available in the regular or featured crystal. So it's a trophy champ that's actually useful with quite a bit of utility, especially with the high sig. And it's for about the same price as Kabam is asking you to take a true Marvel Casino of Champions gamble on last year's champions in May. This is also such random timing, right? Uh, Annihilus, Black Widow Clairvoyant, they're great, right? But you could spend 5,000 units to get Ebony Coleslaw, or especially to get Diablo, right? Like, the thing that makes me sad about these kind of offers, I do this song and dance every day that an offer's out, where I break it down and I talk about grades and past prices really if they wanted this to be a great deal 
it would be at most 2,000 units. 2,000 units, I'd put at least a B plus. And people would say, Prof, that's still over $50 worth of units. Yeah, but between the generic six stones and the fact that it's unit-based, meaning that technically free-to-play players, if they hoard enough units, can get it, that makes up for the added price. If this was in the unit store, I still think a $49.99, a Black Panther's Treasure, uh, that would be the fair price for this. But it's a unit store offer. This thing is so overpriced, and it's still such a gamble, that at minimum, if you're saying that it's going to be 5,000 units, this should be at minimum a million gold and be either one of two things. A five-star 2019 Champions Nexus Crystal that prevents you from automatically getting, with no chance to choose somebody else, a Diablo, right? Or it should be the new evolved version of this legendary crystal concept where you have an 80% chance for a 5-star of a 2019 champion and a 20% chance for a 6-star 2019 champion. I don't know what you want to call that. We could probably workshop some names, and we have in the past in some videos, but that would be able to more justify. This is priced more as a 6-star crystal for a 5-star amount of value. We have seen 6-stars come close on special days, to between $100 and $200 worth of uh, price tag. And that also includes other things. Like sometimes that includes Tier 2 Alphas or Tier 5 Basic Catalyst fragments. Um, this is just crazy overpriced. I think the headline of this video should say, you could spend 5,000 units to get a 5-star Diablo. 5-star Diablo is worth maybe 500 units. But regardless... They're just not understanding where the game is. Most people that I know that are grinding all of Act 6 and that are doing either the completion run, good luck to Miss Katie Candy tomorrow for her Abyss run, or eventually what I hope to do, which is the exploration of the Abyss, you're thinking about 6 stars to rank 3. You're not thinking about taking 5 stars to rank 5. And so with no chance for a 6 star value in this, it's just priced a couple years behind and with the assumption that 6 stars aren't really relevant anymore. And because it's 2019 champions, we know every one of these champions is also available as a 6 star. Last thing I want to say about this offer is that besides the fact that the gold is pathetic, why not include some guaranteed 6 star shards along with it? Why not give us at least 2,500 six-star shards in addition to this 2019 five-star crystal gamble? And on top of that, be more transparent about the value of it now. You look at this and you see, remember 2019? What a year that was, which is also throwing salt in the wound because 2020 has been for so many people, the worst year of their life. <laughs> hey, remember 2019? Remember when we used to charge half this price? Um, well, we're going to bring you back again and ask you to overpay. Because, you know, that's ethical. And then I also have to say, for those of you who are contender, 850 units for a four-star. Keep in mind that 850 units, if you were to purchase that outright from the unit store, is... 30 bucks when a four star crystal should cost you at most 10 bucks. That's also 300% overpriced. <sighs> that should be 300 units. 300 units. Yeah, that's a fair price. Not 850, but certainly not 5,000. YouTube, I have a headache from talking about this deal. And I like to keep my offers and my videos in general when I can under 10 minutes. So I'm going to wrap this up. But I just want to say, this hurts me to rip. This gets another negative infinity grade. It doesn't even have a letter grade. A Z at the end of the alphabet is an insult to what they're trying to pull in May of 2020. And I don't enjoy saying that. I want to be able to be like, oh, this is a thousand units? Heck yeah, snatch it up, have some fun. Or have a chance for a six star one of these. Even if it's a six star Diablo. But it just feels like they don't get it. And unless people stop spending on these offers, they're not going to be incentivized to lower the price. So please, for the love of God, don't buy this. Let's encourage them to actually lower the price of this offer for future deals that actually give you some pro player value.